Hey, what's up? It's Zero to Nine, and today we're going to talk about a very old myth coming from the analog ages and its headroom in mastering or for the pre master. And uh, a lot of you probably know the kind of golden rule um, send the pre master file peaking at minus 6 dB full scale. And uh, this is still a thing nowadays, and uh, all the mastering engineers I know are asking for a 60B headroom or approximately 60B headroom in the files. And today I will show you why this is not necessary anymore. And it absolutely doesn't matter. You can even send a completely clipped file and it's possible to undo all of that and reduce the volume again without any quality loss. And I repeat it, you can do it without losing any quality. It's exactly the same file. And I will show you how it works. And um, for better understanding, uh, you should know how bit depth uh, works. So I made another video about bit depth and dithering. So maybe you can check it out uh, before so it's easier to understand. Um, so, uh, yeah, I will just um, show you how it works. Um, I've loaded up a simple drum, uh, drum loop here um, so we can listen to it quickly. Yeah, I've just used it for demonstration. You can use anything, you can use a full mix. It's, it doesn't matter, it's, it's always the same. I will just use this drum loop, for example. And now what I will do is uh, I will uh, activate this utility plugin here and what this does is it adds 35 dB um, volume to uh, this channel. So um, as you probably uh, see it's already uh, pretty near uh, 0 dB so if I activate this plugin is that the channel is clipping by a lot and uh, I will not play it because uh, I will not smash your ears. Uh, I will first activate uh, a second utility plugin on the master channel. And here I reduce the volume again by 35 dB. So just that we can listen to the signal and see uh, how loud it actually is. So uh, the final uh, volume will be at the same level. But just for uh, demonstration purposes, we can check it out now. Okay, so uh, you can really see it here. <laughs> we are completely clipping and crushing the file. We have uh, 34 uh, dB uh, over zero, so the, the file is completely crushed. Um, and um, if all these people were right and it's not possible uh, to undo that, um, then the next step would not be possible. And um, I've already prepared it, but we will uh, afterwards do it uh, all together so that you can see that I'm not cheating or anything. Um, I have exported this uh, channel, but uh, with the master plugin here, uh, this uh, disabled, so that we are clipping the master channel by 35 dB. And um, what oh, it looks like is this file. So you see it's completely crushed. Um, it's yeah distorted like shit. And it also sounds um, like shit, but not if you export it in 32-bit loading point. Uh, for example, in Ableton, uh, if you select 32-bit, it's already a 32-bit floating point. So you can't export it in 32-bit fixed point. Some DAWs um, uh, do have this uh, this option, uh, so make sure that in your DW uh, you select a floating point as output uh, format, and, and then you can do whatever you want. And I will just show it. So this is the file, and this completely crushed file, um, which is uh, very loud and distorted. Um, and what I am doing here is I have just inserted the utility plugin and I'm flipping the face on, on both channels on left and right signal. And if we now sum together uh, the original file boosted by 35 dB 
um, and then sum it with this uh, signal, with the completely crushed signal, with the uh, phase inverted. Uh, if the, the both files are exactly the same, they will cancel out each other completely and there is absolutely silence. If there is any difference in the files, uh, we would see it and we'll also hear it. Uh, but if there's no difference, then there will be absolutely silence. And I will just play it now and we will see if it works or not. All right, so we can see full volume on both channels, completely crushed, both channels peaking at nearly uh, 35 dB over zero. But on the master channel, there's absolutely nothing going in. And that's because both signals are exactly identical. And uh, because I flipped the face here, they will cancel each other out. So this is the absolute proof that uh, the file is exactly the same. It's really completely identical. And um, I've exported it uh, completely crushed with 35 dB over zero. And still I can just uh, here play it over the other file and it's ex still exactly the same. And um, can also do it like this. So I will kind of undo the step. So I have the um, original playing at the uh, original um, loudness, which is nearly uh, zero dB. And then I will have, have this 32-bit uh, file, the exported file, and I will reduce the volume by minus uh, 35 dB. So it, it should be exactly the same file here. And uh, if I am right, it will cancel each other out because I'm flipple, flipping the face here as in the previous example. And let's see what's happening. Yeah. It's absolute silence. It j just took some time at, at the beginning that it, it, it uh, played the original level. Um, so now you can really hear it. You can see that here's signal coming from both channels, peaking at exactly the same value. And here on the master channel, we have no signal because it's, can it's canceling each other out. And that's the absolute proof that uh, it doesn't really matter uh, if you have a uh, headroom in your pre-master file or not, as long as you stay in 32-bit floating point, um, the mastering engineer still can undo it and there's no clipping. The uh, only thing in uh, my opinion why uh, this rule exists is still because um, especially beginners don't really know um, how all this kind of stuff works. Um, so they are unintentionally clipping the channels and then they have, for example, like um, analog emulation plugins and analog, some uh, analog emulation plugins, um, they have, don't have a linear response. So if you're really um, inputting um, a very high um, signal or a very high in volume, then um, the result will not be the same as if you input it, it at the correct volume. So there are plugins where it is necessary to gain stage correctly, otherwise you will um, get a uh, kind of bad sound. Um, uh, but if you're using digital plugins or like really digital plugins, not, not analog animations, uh, then it's no problem at all. They can handle it. Uh, you can input at whatever level you want, but you just have to be aware of the fact that there are plugins, some plugins, which will behave differently. And uh, so we have to take care of that. But if you have just the final mix and here, here and there you are going over zero to B because you have uh, just exported it and uh, didn't care. And you have, you have some peak um, at a certain section in your song and the mastering en engineer will say, okay, yeah, your song is clipping. Please send me a new version. If you have exported at 32 bit, you can just undo it himself and you don't have to do anything. 
But I know that a lot of engineers and a lot of mastering engineers still don't know how this works and that this is actually possible. And uh, I think they should know and be aware of that fact because they are calling themselves mastering engineers. And I expect that a mastering engineer is technically trained and know that stuff because I'm not a mastering engineer, but I do know it. Uh, so I hope um, that uh, this kind of information uh, spreads around and uh, all the mastering engineers kind of understand how it works and that it is possible. And because I know from some producers that they have sent, uh, sent um, files to master engineers and they said, yeah, please send me um, the file again. And they mixed it like um, <clears throat> with uh, analog stuff. And it's really hard to do the mix again for them. And so they complained about why it is necessary um, to do it again. And um, because they can just use a utility plugin like I did and use the volume and it's actually the same result. Uh, so I hope, um, yeah, a lot of mastering engineers will understand it a little bit better. Um, that this is absolutely no problem as long as you stay in the correct format, which is a 32 bit floating point. And um, just for our presentation, and I will do it manually now so that you see that I'm not cheating. And we will also uh, do this the, exactly the, um, the opposite and export it in 24 bit uh, fixed point so that you can see that then it is not possible anymore and then it's a problem. And uh, we can also listen to the file. Uh, I've already prepared it here. Um, how this sounds like. So uh, I've ju we'll just played for a very short time because it's very crushed. I hope, uh, hope I didn't uh, blast your ears. Um, maybe I will lower the volume so we can hear it. So you can hear, this is what happens if you output in something else than 32-bit floating point. You will have the distortion and then it's really clipped and then you will get all the bad ad effects and then you have a problem. And if we um, sum together both signals here, I will reduce the, uh, the volume here again. So that it's, it's the same. And if we sum together both signals, you can see they're not canceling each other out because uh, the signal is not uh, identical. And uh, you can hear that it has a, a distortion on top. And uh, this is a problem and this is definitely not what you want. So uh, please keep that in mind. It only works in 32 bit floating point. And uh, if you uh, reduce the bit depth to a fixed point, um, bit depth, then you will have trouble if you uh, export it and it's clipping. So, okay, but I will just uh, reproduce the steps. I will delete this file here. Um, I will put the utility plugin here so it's completely clipping. I will just show it to you that you see it's completely clipping. So you can see it's completely smashed. Uh, now I will deactivate the utility plugin reducing the volume so we will export it completely crushed. Um, Um, and what is very important here that you have to uh, deactivate the warping and set it here to high quality mode. And also um, you should uh, export it uh, here with the same uh, sample rate uh, that your DAW is operating because if you reduce the sample rate, of course, it will uh, change um, the sound and then the waveform is not completely identical. So you have to take uh, care of that. So you have to export it in the uh, same sample rate as you uh, work in. In my case, that's uh, 48K. And now you can see that's the uh, new original, or it's a new exported file. Um, and so I will play it together. Here, I will, uh, yeah. Exactly, it's already. 
So yeah, let's play the files. And if they are completely identical, <coughs> they should cancel out each other. And if there is any difference, then uh, we will hear it. So uh, let's just try it out. Okay, let's see. All right. So you can see that there is signal coming from each channel, but there is no signal, absolutely no signal in the mastering and the master bus. And that means that both files are completely identical and there's absolutely no difference. So I hope, uh, yeah, everything is clear. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just put it in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching. You can leave a like and a subscribe if you want. Uh, see you in the next video. Ciao. Bye bye.